Nice car. What's your name? My name is Amir Gadiri. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your Instagram? Uh, at Amir Gadiri. All right. Yeah. Tell me about your car. Well, what I've got here, it's a 2013 Scion FRS. Um, originally, we had it turboed on the stock motor, making 10 pounds of boost. Uh, we re rebuilt the motor, forged internals at 20 pounds, blew it again, uh, and then decided to go with an LS swap. Let's check it out. What does it look inside? Holy crap. So now we're running the big LS in here now. Uh, what it is, it's actually a 5.3 iron block with LS2 heads and a Z06 cam. Um, we went with the iron block because we're going to be boosting the car next week. So with the turbo, the iron block's a little bit better. Um, as it sits, we're making about 400 horsepower, 400 torque to the wheels. Uh, with the turbo, hopefully making quite a bit more. A little bit about the motor, we're running a Fitech fuel injection system. It's a throttle body EFI. We were able to keep the uh, the factory radiator set up. It's actually a full-blown motorsports radiator that we have, but it's a factory replacement for the FRS. And we've also got the full-blown motorsports uh, oil catch can in there. So uh, moving on to the interior of the car, what a lot of people don't believe about this car is that it's actually a street car. It's definitely not a track car. The car's still got a full interior with all their original components. A few gauges and stuff added here and there that we needed, but for the most part, it's a bone stock interior, which is really nice because it really helps you, you know, keep the street car feel. For wheels, what we've got is the NK RPF ones in an 18 by nine and a half. We've got that as a square setup with a 265 tire. Um, behind those wheels, we've got Willwood disc brakes and calipers. We've got four piston calipers on the rear and six pistons on the front. Really gives us that stopping power that we needed. In terms of suspension, you can tell here in the engine bay, we're starting out with ground control top hats. The ground control top hats, they add two inches of suspension travel. Really good for lowered vehicles like this. Really helps with the ride quality. Um, also helping with that ride quality underneath the ground control top hats is the uh, KW E3 coilover system. By far one of the most advanced coilover systems on the market. We've got it front and rear on this car. Very good for track use, also good for street use, very uh, smooth. I like to say that the car drives like a Cadillac in many ways. The back of the car here, we've got the Saibon GD style wing. Um, it's actually a very uncommon one. Most people don't run it. It's a uh, there's not a lot of them on the market, and for that, just there, a lot of people haven't seen them installed. Um, as well, we've got the the Lenti tail lights on here. A lot of people like those. As you can see here, we've got the Saibon FA style hood. It's a carbon fiber hood made by Saibon. The reason we went with this one is it's actually the only one in the market that'll fit the throttle body fuel injection we're running. Um, this vent here really helps. It directs air right into the intake on the motor. It really helps with performance. Okay, so what you can see here is we've retained a lot of the factory interior. Um, the car really is a street car, and you know, with that, you need some amenities like air conditioning and power steering. Um, we do have the AEM gauges here on this pillar. We've got boost, oil pressure, and AFR. Um, also, we've got a lot of gauges here on our handheld device. Um, additional to that, we actually were able to keep the stock shifter location with a T56 transmission out of an 06 GTO. Um, so it's a T56 six-speed transmission. Uh, it really handles the power a lot better than the factory transmission in this vehicle. We actually did this last year when the car still had the factory motor. What we did here is we molded together the two dash pieces and also added in uh, the filler pieces used to run an aftermarket radio in this car. So we've got a standard double din Pioneer radio in here um, and we've also got here are the uh, JDM Toyota uh, center console cover. It opens up and you've got some storage in here, which is nice. It's one of those things that the FRS was really lacking from factory. Um, we've managed to keep the stock shifter, the boot, everything. We cut it and welded on the stock shifter from an FRS, which was really nice. What we've got here, we've got three gauge pods on the pillar here. We've got uh, AEM oil pressure, air fuel ratio, and true boost. So we can read boost, vacuum, oil pressure, air fuel ratios, all of that, which is really nice to have, especially when you're driving. You've got it right there in your line of sight. And really, it's a lot easier than looking down at a second gauge.
shit, look at you. Instant crowd, look at you. Dude, I love your car. Thank you so much for showing us Not your car. Not a problem. Thank you for your interest, man. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. That's a beautiful build. Thank you. Those were some crazy cars. Really cool owner. V8. That's like exactly what I would do if I could. Um, <laughs> some cool cars over there. But I think, uh, I think for the most part, I think we're done. Gotta look for Henry now. Time to go home. Play some games.